we welcome all lovers of delicious food to our today's video, where we'll tell you about the most unusual goodies from different parts of the world. You'll see the main opponent of the shawarma we're accustomed to, you'll see the truly scalding pan, which only the brave will eat, and the most unusual Asian dish, which is made from a duck embryo, a dish that rivals McDonald's and KFC, and you will also see how in Africa they make shrimps in batter in the shape of a circle. Take something tasty with you and don't forget the soda, because while watching you will often want to eat. But before we start, like this video to support us and also subscribe to the channel. This Turkish shortbread looks juicier than anything in the world, common street food on the streets of Turkey. It consists of the simplest ingredients, but the taste does not get worse from this. A soft bun is cut in half, after which minced meat is poured there. The more, the better. And for rich taste, various spices are added, which will add additional notes to the taste. Well, can't do without vegetables. Greens and onions are placed in the shortbread, and then a tomato is added. Everyone knows about the famous American sandwiches, but what about Korean ones? Here is a super hearty Asian sandwich that will replace you with a full dinner. The recipe is quite simple. First, you need to thoroughly grease the surface on which everything will be fried with butter. Then, beat the eggs with vegetables. It's like an omelet, and you can put it in a frying pan. While the omelet is frying, throw some bread into the pan to crisp it up. And don't forget the ham. When all this is fried, start collecting this calorie bomb. Bread, scrambled eggs, ham, and add a slice of cheddar cheese. Some cabbage and a good coating of sauces. Here's a light snack for you. Only a delicious hot dog can compete with the Turkish shortbread, but not a classic one. Do you like spicy food so that during the meal you breathe fire like a dragon? Then this jalapeno hot dog is for you. First, a bun is taken and a sausage is put into it, or maybe even two pieces. They are poured with melted cheese and then various sauces are added. Sprinkled with fresh onions, guacamole and jalapenos are added. And to make it even spicier, mustard is added. Mushrooms and fried onions are added on top of all of this and a small portion of french fries is poured next to it. This is what I understand as a burger, and not your McDonald's and KFCs. Take a fresh soft bun and sprinkle juicy minced meat on it. Cover it with gooey cheese that will spread in your mouth. This already sounds satisfying, but that's not all. After that, add a grilled sausage and a small piece of sausage directly on top of it. And, of course, you can't do without a sauce. This is real fast food. Pancake, but not sweet. This is how a huge pancake is made in a few minutes. First, the dough is spread over the entire surface of a special plate and gradually smoothed out. After these machinations, a few eggs are added there and a ready-made pancake is taken out. This pancake is folded and smeared with sauce. Greens are poured into it and two sausages are thrown around the edges. At the end, seasonings and a lot of cabbage are added there and waffles are placed next to the sausages. And here is a hearty snack for you, which is cut for two people. I've always wanted to try a corn dog, but after this video, I'm already going to the nearest one cafe. Just look how tasty and crispy it looks. We string a huge sausage onto a stick, envelop it in dough, and then in bread egg. And so that all the ingredients take root, we lower this miracle into boiling oil. The main thing is not to forget to take the sauce with you to make it tastier. Easy and simple, but tasteful. This is street shawarma in India. Juicy and fried meat is cut into small pieces, and while the meat is waiting, the cook tears the pita bread into several pieces and adds his secret sauce to it. And now he is adding meat there. The dish, as you can see, is not complicated and is made in a few seconds. To make airy dough for such buns, you need to be a culinary guru. Let's figure out together what is needed for this. Mix warm water with a little sugar and add yeast. Wait until it becomes foamy. Now mix the flour, a pinch of salt, and a little butter in a large bowl. Then pour in the yeast mixture. Knead the dough with your hands. Continue until it becomes soft and smooth like a cloud. Place the dough in a cozy place, cover it with a cloth, and let it inflate like a balloon. This will take some time, so be patient. Once it has risen, gently punch the dough to release the air. 
Then give it any shape. In our case, these are round buns. Now put it in the oven and wait until it is fried until golden brown. I bet you won't buy bread in the supermarket from now on. This is the fastest cook I have ever seen in my life. He makes sandwiches you never dreamed of. This is not a sausage sandwich on bread. His sandwiches are art. The Afghan guy has been cooking delicious meals for everyone in his mini kitchen for many years. First, he cuts vegetables in such manner that his shirt suffers. After that, he spreads special sausages on the bread, puts onions on top, and adds an omelette. He cuts beetroot and cucumbers, green peppers, and tomatoes there. And it turns out a sandwich like Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. All this is poured with grated cheese and covered with the other half of the bread. And to make it tasty for you and it does not fall apart, it is fried over a fire in a special metal sandwich maker. Oh, a sandwich. Only this time, it's Mexican. It's also called torta. Let's start with the crispy baguette. Cut it in half and grease the two halves with any sauce. It depends on what you like. Well, as we see, you need to put the most delicious thing, the filling. It may be different, but here we see grilled meat with melted cheese and refried beans that will add richness. And of course, you can't do without fresh vegetables. A few bunches of cabbage, slices of tomatoes, and jalapeno peppers. Be sure to buy some milk to cool the heat because the jalapenos are spicier than the KFC wings. A bit of Thai cuisine is also good. This is a rice cake. First, a beaten egg with chopped vegetables is added to this cake. When it's fried, several types of meat are thrown into it and white rice is sprinkled on it. And no, at the end, add sauces for taste and seasonings. After that, it is well fried on all sides. The cuisine that makes your mouth water is the one that has seafood. We look and remember. In order for the lobster to cook deliciously, it must be cut correctly. A few scissor cuts here, a couple knife cuts there, and a few hammer blows. That's all. Now you need to cook it a little over low heat with the lid closed. After all this, put them on the grill so that they're thoroughly fried. Meanwhile, grease them with sauce and put the filling onto them. A couple of minutes and you can have your meal. Replacement for any crackers from the store. In India, you can often see how ordinary bread is made in a special sauce. First, butter is thrown on the stove and then a lot of greens, which are fried and give juice. Then they throw red pepper there and sprinkle it all with seasonings. Definitely some curry. All this is poured over with three different sauces, which are the same in their poisonous red color. And then squeeze the juice from the lemon and cook until it thickens. And when the sauce is ready, sliced bread is thrown there, which absorbs everything. It is well fried and sprinkled with fresh herbs. And here is one of the most delicious snacks for you. Indian cuisine will always be a theme. And our friends showed how to make a delicious sandwich with omelette and vegetables. Throw butter into a frying pan, add onions, tomatoes, and green onions. Now beat the eggs and throw them into the pan with the vegetables. Top this with a few slices of bread and sprinkle all this deliciousness with grated cheese. What would it be like without it? After this, you need to turn it all over and put a few more pieces of bread on the other side. When everything is fried, add the greens, cut it all, and add grated cheese again. In the end, we fry more vegetables and butter so that they give juice and put them on top of our sandwiches. Don't forget about sweets. Especially for us, such a beautiful girl makes delicious pancakes with a banana. She cuts the fruit into a special container and adds an egg to it. After that, she fries the pancake, and while it's blushing, she pours a mixture of banana and egg into it. Flip it over a few times to make sure everything is cooked well. And in the end, it is cut into small pieces for convenience. In this heat, you can't do without a cool drink. Therefore, we will show you a simple but very tasty refreshing lemonade. Prepare a glass, squeeze half a lemon and lime into it. Add sugar and fill everything with cold water. Don't forget about a small piece of ice to quench your thirst. There's been meat, there've been sweet things, and now it's time for fish. Right on the street, you can taste the most delicious grilled stuffed fish. First, the fish is stuffed with vegetables and jalapeno peppers for spice. All this is put in foil and poured with sauce. A few minutes on the grill and you're done. 
Not a fan of fish, but even I want to try it. You can eat this donner for the whole day. First, the pita bread should be soaked in the meat juices and put on the grill so that it is thoroughly fried for a crispy crust. Then put two types of meat there, some french fries, fresh tomatoes, pickles, and white onions. I'm already drooling as I tell this. A little spice and a lot of sauce for juiciness. Well, now you need to roll it up well so that the donner doesn't fall apart at the first bite and put it on the grill. Fried and ready to eat. How do you like this aperitif from Bangladesh? This burning snack is called pan. In its original form, pan consisted of betel leaves filled with areca nuts and sometimes tobacco. But today, many cooks began to set this dish on fire, referring to its medicinal properties. The dish is created by combining a sweet mixture of mazala with a touch of ice and rook avza, a pumpkin-flavored concentrated drink based on pumpkin. Favorite Korean delicacy is corn cheese. First, you need to throw the canned sweet corn into the pan. Mix it with mayonnaise, heavy cream, or milk and sugar to create the creamy and slightly sweet base. Sprinkle the mixture generously with shredded mozzarella cheese for a layer of gooey, melty sweetness. Now, you need to wait a little until the cheese becomes bubbly and golden. If you want, garnish it with chopped green onions for freshness and color. Serve Korean corn cheese hot and bumbling from the oven. The combination of sweet corn, rich cheese, and extra heat makes it a real treat for the taste buds. Indian cuisine never ceases to please. This time, we see special equipment that cuts an onion in the shape of a rose. After that, the onion is poured over with sauce on all sides. Immediately, the onion is sent to a special powder, and only then it is thrown into deep fat, where it goes through the last stage of cooking. Because of this, it turns out juicy and crispy. When everything is ready, it remains only to cut the core. An unusual preparation of a drink from India. First, throw ice into glasses and squeeze lime and lemon into them. After that, a concentrate with some kind of flavor is poured into it. And now, the most interesting thing is that water is poured into bottles and placed in some kind of device of the future that makes the water carbonated. Well, in the end, it's poured into glasses and you get a drink that will make your mood high. If you know what kind of miracle machine this is, share it in the comments. I think it'll be interesting for everyone. Today, there are various goodies, after which you want to take a sip of a refreshing drink, especially after pan. Therefore, we have an unusual milkshake next in line. First, a lot of milk mixed with juice is poured into a huge saucepan, then watermelon concentrate is poured. And to make the drink really refreshing, a block of ice is thrown into this cauldron, and all this is thoroughly mixed. Next, special seasonings are poured into this mixture, and all this is again carefully interfered until fresh peaches are brought. Several pieces of these fruits are rubbed directly into the cauldron, and then everything is mixed again. This is how a summer drink comes out that will clench your thirst. You can never have enough scrambled eggs, so the new recipe is here. Chop the onion and throw it into the frying pan. Add green pepper and chop the tomatoes there. All this needs to be thoroughly fried and spices added to your taste. And now that all the vegetables have given juice and you have a filling like this, add a few eggs and fry everything. When all this is ready, you just need to sprinkle some greens and start eating. Pani Puri, a popular Indian street food, is a delicious combination of small crunchy puri filled with hot and spicy fillings, accompanied by a tantalizing flavored water. Puri are generously stuffed with ingredients such as boiled potatoes, sprouts, chickpeas, and finely chopped onions. The fragrant water, known as pani, is a refreshing blend of tamarind, mint, coriander, green chili, and a variety of spices. In just one bite, Pani Puri offers an explosion of flavors and textures as crunchy puri, savory toppings, and invigorating pani all come together in perfect harmony. I don't know what it's called, but it looks very tasty. We see how fresh beans are poured into boiling oil, and at the same time, garlic is fried in lime juice in another frying pan. An unusual combination, but I trust this guy. When the beans have been in the boiling oil for a while, they are taken out and thrown into the garlic. Add spices there and mix it all. 
and fresh meat is thrown into the boiling oil, which after cooking will be juicy and crispy. Now that everything is ready, put rice, meat, and our unusual beans on a plate. It's something between a cake and a sandwich. To make this, you firstly need to take three round cakes and grease them with oil. Then you pour various sauces on two of them. When this stage is passed, you can proceed to the filling, which consists of vegetables. The next step is grated cheese, lots of grated cheese. Then it all adds up and you get a multi-layered sandwich cake. Top with more cheese, sauce, and a little black pepper. After that, the dish is sent to the oven so that the cheese spreads. Write in the comments after which dish you ran to eat, because I've already eaten several times throughout this compilation. Ask what it is? This is a Korean soup teokbaki. Unlike the traditional fried version where chewy rice cakes, teok, are doused in a spicy and sweet gochujang based sauce, teokbaki soup reinterprets those flavors in a soothing soup base. First, the broth is made, usually with veal. Then they add Korean red chili pepper paste. Now, add the greens and put our rice cakes there. Believe me, when it's all cooked and the flatbreads absorb the taste of the broth, you won't want to eat anything else. After work, you always want something to eat quickly. And here's a great video. Mini hot dogs with scrambled eggs. First, small sticks with sausages are inserted into a special stove and eggs are poured there. After a few minutes, you already have a full snack of six of these hot dogs, which are seasoned with spices and sauces for every taste. Now, I would like you not to look at how the dish is prepared, but how many tons of ingredients are in it. The guys decided to make a classic pilaf for the giant. We throw in about 10 kilograms of lamb, then several kilograms of pepper, and the same amount of carrots. And we cover it all with several buckets of spices. Mix all this and add rice and peas at the same time, and apparently their restaurant really loves this pilaf, since they make it in such quantity. Here comes the main competitor of the shawarma we're used to. For cooking, they throw the dough onto the oven and then add eggs to it, so that in the end, the pancake turns out to be tender and tasty. All this is fried on both sides, and then unagi sauce is poured onto one of them. Then spread cabbage, crispy waffle, a few tomatoes, and of course, meat. All this is poured with sauce and rolled up like a shawarma. African shrimp in batter is something new. First, the woman makes the batter itself, and then takes fresh shrimp and mixes them thoroughly in it. Then she pours several liters of sunflower oil into the frying pan, and when it's hot, she throws our battered shrimp into it and makes a circle shape. In a few seconds, and you'll get an excellent flatbread-shaped snack that will crunch deliciously in your mouth. The main thing is not to overload on such food. What could be better than pancakes? That's right, a pancake in the form of your favorite cartoon character. This place in Japan will delight every fan of cartoon characters. To do this, you only need to select one or more cartoon characters from the menu. After that, a skilled chef will not only cook, but draw these pancakes right in front of you. A few minutes and you already have Smurfs on your plate. I think the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will like this pizza. This is Vietnamese fast food on rice paper. It's placed on the fire, and then beaten eggs and vegetables are poured into it. Then sausage and ham are added, as well as cheese. Mayonnaise and ketchup are generously poured on top, and spices are added for taste and smell. And when everything is fried, one side is rolled up, and the result is no longer pizza, but a Mexican taco. Indian guys showed an unusual way to cook pancakes. First, the dough is beaten well and mixed. By the way, check out the sound that it produces. After that, the hot sphere is smeared with oil and then a small piece of whipped dough is taken and spread over the entire area. Unnecessary pieces are cut off and the finished pancake is rolled up and carried to customers. Its highlight is the theatrical preparation of the drink. He does it as if he was painting a picture or playing a musical instrument. First, chia seeds are added to the water, then sugar is added there. And then, the hygiene of preparation this drink disappears. He opens the package of milk with his mouth, and while it's pouring into the container, drinks it with his tongue. 
I probably would refuse after what I saw. We've already seen meat and shrimp in batter, but what about potatoes? First, it's cut into spirals to make an accordion like this. Then they dip it into the batter and stretch it over the entire area of the stick. Well, then they put it in boiling oil to fry it. At the end, it's all generously poured with sauce and it's ready. A little sweet can't hurt either. Everyone's favorite popcorn recipe from an Indian guy. Everything is very easy and simple. The pan heats up, powdered sugar is added, and corn grains are poured there. All this is mixed during cooking so that each grain is sweet. When the grains are swollen, they're taken out and poured into a paper bag. A dish that can seriously scare. So leave your goodies for a while. It's called balut. It is essentially a fertilized duck egg that is incubated for a period, boiled, and then eaten. After incubation, the eggs are translucent, while the shell is illuminated with the bright light to assess the development of the embryo. The boiling process cooks the egg and the embryo inside. Once cooked, the balut is served with the shell removed to expose the partially developed embryo. Usually, this appetizer is served with salt or vinegar, but in our case, vegetables were added there. For Asian cuisine, this is considered a normal traditional dish, but I probably will never try it. In order not to eat popcorn and dry food, we have found a recipe for a delicious milkshake for you. First, a huge amount of cottage cheese is poured into a cauldron with milk, and after that, several bowls of sugar must be poured into it. Also, a small amount of sweet concentrate is poured into it all. When everything is ready, the shaking of the ingredients begins. The finished drink is poured into glasses and decorated with a small portion of cottage cheese on top. It would look great with that fried onion. First, the potatoes are peeled and then they're scrolled through a special vegetable cutter. Thus, a spiral is obtained, which is distributed throughout the stick. Sauces are poured onto the potatoes, spices are poured so that all the juices are absorbed and then sent to deep fry. When the potatoes are fried, they are again poured with sauce and seasonings are added. I think this dish would compete with French fries. Let's finish today's selection with a delicious spring roll. Place the dough on the stove and spread it over the entire area. Then add an egg and do the same. Then spices are added and onions and herbs are added. And the pancake itself is folded in half and coated with sauce. Crispy waffles, cabbage, and a few pieces of meat are already added there. Well, write in the comments how you like today's dishes and recipes for them. Would you try balut? After such a delicious video, I wanted to have something to eat, so I won't keep you waiting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss new videos.